All right, so here he is, UFC light heavyweight champion times two, future Hall of Famer, a man you know as well as anyone, DC, Johnny Bones Jones. John Jones is one of those talents that when you see him for the first time, you understand that he is something special. He has a very strong mind, unbelievable skill set, and an ability to rise to the occasion. He did it from the moment he first stepped foot in the octagon as a very young fighter to his long championship reign. Some of the victims on John Jones' resume is unbelievable to have beaten that many UFC champions over the course of his career. John Jones truly is one of the greatest martial artists of all time. Skill for skill, one of the best fighters you will ever see, and very loyal when it comes to his team. He has been with Mike Winkle, John, and Greg Jackson since day one. John Jones trying to add to arguably the greatest mixed martial arts legacy the sport has ever seen here in that time. All right, so here he is, one of the best boxers on this UFC roster, and if this fight was to be contested under the Marquess of Queensbury rules, it would be no contest, but we got an MMA fight here. We would be talking about a one-round fight, because right. there are no... being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Side control now. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. All right, he'll engage in a single follow tie. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Nice ball, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well placed kick there by Jones. <laughs> Timely defense there. Huge block for him. language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Left hand punch that switch. And now he's got the tight punch. And they separate. Switching stances here. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge and reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC. And there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that side of the Here we are, early round two. It's big, Paul. Now we get back to range. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Got him. Man, he's just 
just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Oh, nice right hand. Absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at one minute, 16 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by so the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by nine.